Sustainable Prosperity, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 93. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 93, December 12, 2014 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week with pictures and video. And if you like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, all the resources that we're creating, the complete details, uh, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email update every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. You can also, of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which consists of the Satellite and Pioneer members, completed the first 25% of the lesson plan mind map with the central theme of movement and development. You can see this expanding in the background here. We also completed the first half of the movement and development web page that lists the specifics of how to use this lesson and mind map to teach all subjects to all ages in any environment using the central movement and development theme. We additionally added a new resources section like this to the bottom of all the curriculum and subject pages. And behind the scenes, we finished the first 15% of the lesson plan design for open source. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on Highest Good Food added another 10% to the new food self sufficiency transition plan, sharing the work of Benjamin Sessions. This page is about teaching people how to affordably and efficiently prepare food in both temporary and permanent kitchen situations until people can produce their own. This will be essential for initial remote village construction, as well as the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on Highest Good Housing added a why and what section to the Dome Home Electrical page that is part of the preparation for the crowdfunding campaign. We also created the first half of the materials and image updates for the custom Murphy bed furniture. These updates are fixing non-standard sized components uncovered in the materials breakdown we've been working on for the past few weeks. Hopefully it'll be the last updates that we need to make to these. Uh, In addition to this, the core team completed this initial assessment of thermal lag testing and calculations through the earth dome walls. This is only the beginning of this work that nobody, to our knowledge, has ever done. The outermost layer is the wall. The next layer in is the air between the wall. 
and or within the wall and the central area is space we're not measuring because the first 16 inches of air that we are measuring will give us the information that we need. These calculations are being completed as a precursor to more complex calculations we'll also be doing on the Earth Bag Village Central Tropical Atrium. Scott Thomas and his Shadow Ridge Signature Architecture Program team also produced these next steps of putting the complete Earth Bag Village into CAD and also uh, the crowdfunding campaign Wet Dome into CAD. Last but not least, here's a previously unshared update from Dave Wallen, architectural drafter and designer and owner of Dave Philip Wallen Design, showing the first detailed section of the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 with straight walls instead of curved walls. What you see is two studios and a two-room unit, all designed for easy modification at different floor plans to meet different needs. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team completed the first 20% of the building plans for all components section of the Duplicable City Center. This developing page is where we are hosting downloads of all the CAD, SketchUp, and other files so that people will have free access to these files for duplication, modification, and adaptation. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week the core team continued the complete redesign of the home page to streamline and simplify it to better help people understand what we are creating and how it is a viable strategy for global transformation to sustainability. Focus for this week was the helping us page updates that you can see here. This page now shares clearly and easily all the ways someone can participate in one community ranging from internet help and support to joining the pioneer team that will be moving onto the property and building all of one community and open sourcing the entire process. In addition to this, we also created new social media imagery and featured our Creating Utopia page and our large scale gardening page. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team if you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. One community sees all of the open source and free shared resources that we're creating and the complete model of a teacher demonstration, community village or city, as a path to sustainable prosperity. Now we recognize that a lot of people will have different ideas of what sustainable prosperity really is. And so what we are doing is we're bringing together the foundational components necessary to meet the needs of most people and most people's definition of sustainable prosperity while providing the infrastructure necessary so that people can create their own version of sustainable prosperity. So with this in mind, the foundations that we're open sourcing first include open source food infrastructure, open source housing infrastructure, open source energy infrastructure, open source education infrastructure, open source highest good economics, which is for-profit and non-profit business creation, as well as a fulfilled living model, and true earth stewardship. Taking all of these components and putting them together and saying, well, from our perspective, most people, if they had all of those things, which creates an environment where they have more time to spend with their friends and family, which creates an environment that has more recreational activities, more personal growth activities than your typical metropolitan area, which creates an environment that provides an education that most people would consider to be far superior than the educational options that are available right now, as well as more time with your kids and a hands-on approach for parents with their children, so it's truly integrated. There's an opportunity to really be a part of the educational experience. 
to create business models that give more than they take that are positive for the environment, positive for the economy, positive for everybody that, that they affect. Putting all these things together, we believe that those are the foundations of sustainable prosperity that most people can resonate with. And so when we combine those with what we call physical sustainability, the food, the energy, the housing infrastructure, which, which creates the environment to have all of the emotional sustainability, all the aspects that I just mentioned, the fulfilled living model, the education model, the high-skilled economics, all these aspects, when we put all those things together, it creates a comprehensive model. And so our goal is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and to demonstrate it so that people can come and visit and have that experience and see it as attractive enough for the model to become self-replicating. And if a model like this becomes self-replicating, it has the potential to transform life on this planet for everyone and everything living here. This is the goal of one community. To create this, we're bringing together the people with a consciousness for the highest good of all. People that want to look at it and say, hey, we have the ability to not just make the world a better place, but to completely transform life on this planet as we know it. To create a model that gives more than it takes. To create a model that can regenerate this planet. That can create a planet that can sustain all life on it for generations to come. To really look at how to do that, but we have to start somewhere. And so that's what we're doing. This is why we're doing the sustainable building models and all the sustainable food models, the sustainable energy models, the education. We are looking at the very foundations of civilization, of a sustainable civilization. We're putting all those together, taking the physical sustainability, the emotional sustainability, and combining those things into one complete open source template to build a solution model that creates additional solution creating models. And that's what the Teacher Demonstration Hub is all about. So if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds like a noble adventure, we invite you to join us. We invite you to get involved in what it is that we're creating because we are building a highest good for all team to change life on this planet for everyone, positively and permanently, by providing the open source resources necessary to do so, by building the foundation so that what we're creating can be duplicated, can be modified, can be adapted to the individual needs of people and groups while constantly moving our species forward. And to make it as easy as possible, we are on all the different social media networks. So if you're looking for a way to help us that's really easy, we say that there are ways that anybody can help and participate. If you'd like a really simple way to help us out, share our project. We are on Pinterest, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Sue, we are on Twitter, we are on Reddit, we are on Tumblr. We're on all the major social media networks, another 10 or 11 that I didn't even mention there to make it as easy as possible because we want the open source blueprints. We want the open source resources, the free shared tools, tutorials, everything that it is that we're creating to be in as many hands as possible because that's how this global transformation happens. And we know that if we can make enough of these things available, this idea of sustainable prosperity will spread on its own and transform the lives of small groups of people at first, but then complete populations. So sharing our information is immensely helpful because it helps people understand what it is that we're creating. It gets the resources into the hands of the people that can use them most because we've already put tens of thousands of hours into creating these resources, many of which are usable right now. Amazing tools, tutorials, and resources that you can access and help you to grow your own garden or to do building and all the different things or to launch an education program, all the stuff that we've created. Of course, the number one thing, because people ask us all the time, well, what's the number one thing that we could do to help? We love your project. How could we help you the most? The number one thing that would help us right now would be either an individual or a group that would want to either invest in one community or to donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization and help us get the property off the market. It's the number one thing that would help our project right now is to take the property off the market so that we can start doing the next layer of details so that we can share the specifics of where that location is so that those people that say, hey, I'd really love to join, but I can't do it until I know where it is that you're going to be based – and we can only share that with people that are ready to join no matter where we're based because we can't share a location because the location could change, even though we've been working with it for four years. So to get that location off the market, to be able to share those details with the public would be an immense help. So if you know somebody or you are somebody who has the resources to assist us with that, please contact us because that is the next major, major step for one community and the thing that we're working towards right now. All of our team our unpaid volunteers, self-included, 
Not much are paid for what it is that we're doing. So all the donations, the small donations are super helpful too because all the donations go towards our website infrastructure and all of our open source process. Nobody here is paid for what it is that we're doing. So those little donations help to keep our project moving forward, help to keep us developing everything that it is, you know, buying the plugins and stuff like that that makes our website better and easier to access and helps us organize and share the information even more. So these are the things that people are doing right now that are immensely helpful and we are so grateful for all of you that are contributing. Also, the comments that are made on the social media that help us to better uh, integrate other people's ideas, the emails that we get with suggestions or resources that we integrate into the pages, all of these things are so helpful to what it is that we're doing, what it is that we're creating. And so, as always, I like to say thank you for everybody that's supporting our project. Thank you for sharing our information. Thank you for reading our information. Thank you for commenting on our information. Thank you for the small donations. Thank you for being interested in our project, talking about our project. And, um, you know, thank you for helping us create this idea of sustainable prosperity. It is totally doable if enough people get involved. If you look at the complexity of what it is that one community is creating compared to the complexity of the amazing things that humanity has already accomplished. It's really quite small. But if you look at the impact that what it is that we're creating, the potential that this has for life on this planet, it could not be bigger. And so to everybody who follows our progress, to everybody who supports us, we say thank you. Of course, we will continue this process of creating sustainable prosperity. And I say every week, we will, of course, until next week, keep on keeping on. Thank you.